Hello, beautiful people of the internet, uh, YouTube, wherever you find yourself during this video, um, I'm going to show you how to draw an NFT asset for an NFT collection. And this is very, this is going to be a very useful video for beginners, uh, beginners in the, in the realm of AI, Adobe Illustrator and in the NFT space. Um, so yeah, let's dive right in. So what I have right now is our base frame of our learner. So this is essentially the frame or the base that's going to essentially be the shape of each NFT that we produce. I'll go ahead and share an example of a, of a sample learner here in the screen. Uh, you could check out so that way you see the two cylinders at all times today i'm designing a helmet a spartan helmet to be specific and i'm going to be showing you guys how i go ahead and create it so first things first i'm gonna go ahead and draw a line right down the center of the head now something to note is that the center of the head is not the center of the body so if i hit center if i go ahead and hit this line and you know you're going quickly and this is this is for our specific project because the head's offset it. But if I center it, this is not the center. This is the center of the whole frame, not the center of the head. So we want the line to be the center of the head so that way the asset is symmetrical. Now here's a reference image I'm using because I'm creating a Spartan helmet. So yeah, here we go. So I created that to create the symmetry. And now I'm going to create, we're going to keep this shape here. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the, the bottom part. So here we go. So I'm going to create the basic shape. And right now I'm not worried about lines connecting to other lines. So just check out what I do here. So I'm just going to create the basic shape of the helmet. So let's go right here. Uh, maybe a little bit closer to the center. Uh, there we go. Go up for the eyes. We're going to create like these angled square eyes. So you can see I'm just focused on just the shape. I'll connect or modify these little nodes at the end. And then the nose part will go right there. Cool. Okay, so we have one side. And what I want to showcase here is like the ease. You're going to find your own tips and tricks here. But I'm going to go ahead and grab the curvature tool and click on the line I just created. Now what I want to do is connect the nodes to the to some of the other lines I already have on the base. So I'm gonna grab this node, and connect it, boom. You see that, how it shows that indicator of connection? And then I'm gonna modify this square. It seems to be a little low, so I'll go ahead and modify up. And you can mess around with whatever, and this is gonna be super unique to you, but I wanna just show you the basic tips here. And then the nose part. And you're probably thinking, like, what do you mean the nose part? It's going to make sense right now because it's going to save you a lot of time. So we'll do that. Cool. And I go back over here to the selection tool. And what you're going to do is click this and then copy and paste it. Okay. What you're going to do is then over here under transform, reflect it. And you want to make sure it reflects vertical. And hit OK. And just center it to each other right there. And then boom. As you can tell. Spartan mask is coming to life here so you can see and the reason why you know you're gonna choose your own art style but we have thick lines and essentially everything that we create is essentially symmetrical on both ends we did this because we're really big on simplicity but we wanted things to pop out so that's where the thick lines come in and then the colors eventually so yeah there we go and then a little quick tip is hitting command Y so you could look at the lines almost like an x-ray and make sure everything's good. I like to do this to make sure everything's actually touching correctly and then hit command Y again to go back to your, to your drawing here. Cool. So we got essentially like the helmet down. What I want to create right now is the feathers or I'm not even sure what it is on the Spartan. I don't know uh, what they are actually the hair, right? So I'm going to go ahead and freestyle this based on the reference. It's going to be like a little here. We'll create a little square. Boom. Boom. Again, I didn't worry about connecting the lines. I'll connect them after. So I'll grab this and connect the node. And remember, you want to pick the curvature, curvature tool to do this. The pen tool won't allow you. It'll essentially just like eliminate the node. So make sure you get the curvature tool. And then bring this down. Get this one. Connect it right there. Cool. And then to add some uh, 
little sauce to it we want to make sure we curve we could so this is another thing you don't have to actually just pick notes you could actually create a node on that line so right here i'm going to create one and drag it up make sure it's centered and create a little you know curvature so that way there's like a some sauce to it and then now for the hair i'm not sure how we're going to do this how, how it's going to look good but let's try this let's try here we'll do boom come across here and then come down here again not worried about connection just yet this could work let's find out how to look and then connect it here connect it here this looks a little too outwards and if we actually want to make sure things are centered we want to back to our line that we created maybe drag it all the way up to to see see if you notice this one seems a little bit wider so we could kind of go back and modify get this node bring it in oh, it looks about right and then i want to curve this to show that flare again like that cool i guess you know that's that's our version of us of a spartan helmet um it's coming to life so let's see everything looks good so far okay cool now you know uh what i what i like to do is obviously add the color so i'm gonna go ahead and delete that line see as you can see the helmets there looks pretty cool actually i really like this one so i'm gonna go ahead and rename this layer to um sketch we'll call it sketch now what i'm gonna do is create a new layer layer two bring it under sketch and we're gonna do this color okay so now Hover over sketch and click sketch you want to make sure you're you're doing that and then you're going to hover over the just the obviously the the top part right and what you're going to do is hold alt make sure you hover over here to this little thing that means that there's there's assets or things chosen in this layer hold alt grab this little blue box and just drag it down here to color what that did what essentially we just did is essentially copy that and dragged it into this uh new layer so we just if you notice we only copy the the top part the head okay i like doing this because it helps me make sure where i'm layering right now what you want to do is lock your sketch because we don't want to touch that no more and color make sure that's indicated make sure you just turn off stroke because we don't need double stroke we just leave it there cool so you're probably thinking nothing really changed that's good nothing should look different now it's just you organize right to see what what's going to co be colored and whatnot so now, now that make sure you lock sketch because then you don't want to modify the sketch no more. So obviously, you know, I can't touch the body because that's that we didn't copy that over to the color. Now, the fun part is we get to color our helmet. So let's go with like a metal, like a gray. So make sure you hit fill, make sure stroke is off and then go to color, double click on fill. And let's go with like a, let's see, like a, we'll go with the gray, this gray. And then just same thing when you're creating lines except you'll notice that the color starts to fill and again i'm not focused on connecting the nodes just yet i'm just making sure i get the general shape in there and you know there might be some tips tips and tricks you could find uh, in other videos but uh i just want to show you that way you can start diving in i could be you could be saving time but this is what's helped me and i want to encourage you and show you that you know you find your own sauce so then now cool thing is since color this layer is under sketch i could put these nodes on that line and it won't overlap it'll stay behind that's the, that's the beauty of the layering so now i just want to make sure all these get over here and then same thing you make sure you fill it in and again key is i'm using the curvature tool okay that's a big component here you don't you can't be using another tool this won't help you the pen tool you need to use a curvature tool to make all these modifications on these notes okay so then we fill up the color i made a little mistake i would like to go back to shortly so i'm just filling this in cool okay now i made a little mistake if you look closely here i'm glad this happened because it's a learning experience for all of us you're seeing okay why didn't this get colored there's a line in the way okay 
what you're going to do in this in the, in the case this happens go ahead and hit the eyeball that way we don't see the color and lock the color right lock the color layer go back to your sketch unlock it now in this case there's overlapping lines here what you're going to do is highlight these overlapping lines so now everything gets highlighted obviously may you make sure so you see these blue lines that overlap you're going to get this tool right here it's called the shape builder with this you could eliminate lines so what you're going to do is hover over the line and hit alt so that you see like that little switch plus minus when you hit alt it goes into minus so hold alt hover over the line until it turns red and click it and it eliminates it do that and then boom now it actually looks like a mask so now we lock again our sketch lock it hit the eyeball on color and you see we don't have that overlapping line no more make sure you unlock color too because we're going to be messing around in here we don't have that overlapping line no more so it actually looks like a helmet so little mistake i did but there, there's your little solution i'm sorry about that but i'm glad it happened because we're always learning here so go back because i think the stroke came from the other settings okay fill let's see uh let's just play around here we'll do a little brown to make this little i don't even know what to call it the hair holder <laughs> we'll go with the hair holder all right cool and then spartans tend to have red red fur or hair so then over here fill it up again not so worried about connecting grab the curvature tool Put it over the black lines and then there you go and there you go you have your asset you create an asset um we created the helmet there's a couple more modifications to do but this is exactly what i envision this is exactly the route we're going to be taking so yeah i hope it helps i hope this made sense please leave me a comment uh, with any suggestions, if there's something that you miss, any questions that you would like to for me to elaborate on. But uh, this should definitely help you get started and feel motivated to start your own collection or start messing around with at least Adobe Illustrator. So uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.